In today's video, I'm leaving Cape Town, South Africa and it's been one of the toughest days ever since I started traveling three months ago through Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, Johannesburg and now Cape Town. Cape Town is not only one of the most beautiful cities in Africa, but also in the world. With its incredible infrastructure and food, it offered me a taste of a first world lifestyle, even though I didn't explore much as I wanted to. It was really hard knowing that I won't be having McDonald's for a long time, maybe in Egypt, Mauritius or Morocco, since these are the only four countries in Africa with McDonald's. Leaving behind the unpredictable weather was tough, but I'm also really excited about my next destination, Namibia. Visiting Namibia has been a dream of mine since I first learned about it. As someone from East Africa where everything is green, I was fascinated by how a country could thrive in a desert. I had to see it for myself. So in today's video, I'm embarking on a journey to Vindok, the capital of the beautiful Namibia. I'll be taking a road trip from Cape Town on one of the most comfortable and widely used double-decker buses in Africa. Guys, this is the first break. Uh, this place is called... These names are really hard. I think they are in Dutch or something. So this is, this is the first break. It's been a long time. We left Cape Town at around... 11 30 and now it's what's the time right now it's 4 30. along the way i'll show you the stunning landscapes of south africa as we travel from the southwest to the northwest because i love nature and want to share how the landscapes differ in each african country So this is, um, we are still inside South Africa. With a distance of 930 miles or 1,500 kilometers and the excellent roads in South Africa and Namibia, the journey typically takes between 15 to 17 hours of driving. With a few stops along the way, it can extend to about 20 hours, not including 3 hours immigration search stop at the border of the two countries. We are crossing the border. I'm so tired. But this is the border between Namibia and South Africa. Now I'm entering, I'm entering Namibia right now. <laughs> 
Namibia is located in the southern Africa. It is renowned for its stunning landscape, diverse wildlife and unique cultural heritage just like any other African country. Namibia's economy is largely driven by mining, agriculture and tourism. The country is rich in natural resources with diamonds, uranium and gold and other minerals playing a significant role in its wealth. Namibia is one of the world's most top producers of uranium and its diamond mining industry is also significant. Its population is around 2.5 million people. The country is known for its ethnic diversity with several indigenous groups such as the Ovambo, Herero, the famous Himba people and the San people. arrived in Namibia officially and this is Windhoek Namibia welcome to Namibia so right now I'm with the taxi driver and I'm going to get line my sim card then I go to the hotel Namibia is known for its several tourist attraction destinations, with Swakumpump as one of them, a coastal town with the German colonial architecture and several adventurous activities, Skeleton Coast, known for its shipwrecks and foggy coastlines, and also it is a home to some of the highest sand dunes in the world. My taxi driver, say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> You're How from are you? Namibia, eh? How are you? I'm Namibia, from Namibian. Uh, window, window. We call it window. You say window, window. Window, window, window. Ah, okay. I'm going to get a SIM card so that I go. So 
I couldn't get a SIM card because the line is very long, so I'll just go and use the Wi Fi at the hotel. If you want to, to hurt her, just take her bag and scratch it somewhere. <laughs> Can I give Wi-Fi password? Sorry? Wi-Fi password? Yes, yes I need. I need the, the password, like, number one. Okay. <laughs> so, I wait with you. Wait, this lady. You get this warm welcome in Windhoek that, like, surprises you. I'm so shocked. Anyway. We are here. We are in Namibia. I can't wait to take you around. So that was the journey. So just now I'm just going to rest, get some food and maybe edit. So tomorrow I'll take you around the city. But this is the room. There's a fridge that's working. I can cook if I want to. A whole kitchen, a whole microwave. And this is 400. The place I wanted to book was um, 500, no actually 5 yeah. The place I wanted to book was 500. And there's a movie. <sighs> the bed is nice. Morning from Namibia, window, Windhoek. It's called Windhoek. Yeah, this is my first full day in Namibia, especially to be specific in Windhoek, the capital city. So in today's video, I'll just be taking you around and tell you things about Namibia that maybe some of you don't know. And yeah, so I traveled all the way from Cape Town to Namibia by bus. It was like more than 24 hours. I think maybe 26 hours, uh, just because of the border the checking at the border normally takes a lot of time and because it's south africa it's different from like the way you come from tanzania kenya to tanzania this is south africa you know there's a lot going on in south africa that they have to check everybody's bag and everything yeah so stay tuned and join the family if you haven't subscribe like and comment and yeah i think after coming from south africa i feel light you know i just feel light there's things that i had to release out of my heart you know so it's making me feel light and we are going to just be positive all the way because that's the city that i was in i i spent like seven days in cape town absolutely crazy and i was paying a seafront hotel i think after coming from zimbabwe through botswana it just prepared me for these other cities because in Zimbabwe I paid $40 for the hotel, that was the first time, it was a shock for me. The second time in, in Botswana I paid $30. It was really good, uh, the hotel was good. Then when I went to Cape Town, Seafront, it was even $35 I think. I'll check that out. So I paid for 7 days, 4 days in one, four day, uh, 3 days in the other. Yeah, anyway. 
we are not talking about Cape Town today. This will be a whole story in another video, a sit down video. But today I want to take you through Namibia, or uh, not really Namibia, but Windhoek. Sorry if I say Windhoek, because that's how we were taught in school. Windhoek, like we used to read it as it is, but it's supposed to be pronounced like Windhoek. Windhoek. <laughs> anyway, it's time, it's 10, and the sun will go. The sun will be up really. I wish I, go, I got out at 7, but it's still okay. This sun of the south is not as direct as the sun of the east. The east, the sun is like this. But here, it's like this. So, it's there, but at the same time, it's cold because it's winter season. Yeah, so this is winter in um, Namibia. Winter in the desert. Yeah. And we're also close to the ocean, actually, but not, we are in the middle of the country, but not too far from the ocean. I think I'm saying that because I've traveled so far that if I see a distance, a short distance of two hours, I feel like it's just very close. Anyway, I'm still here. I'm being moved to another room because somebody booked this one. Yeah, because somebody booked this one, so I'll be moved to another room. And yeah, after that, I get to town and show you everything. So, to my female travelers, do you do what I do? Because imagine this door is just like, I, to me it's, it's, it's heavy but it can be kicked, I don't know. And I have this but it's not working, it's like somebody. Ooh, I've just been moved to this space. How can somebody not want this and have the other one? And this one feels like it should be more money. It's a very big mirror. Wow. And the bathroom. It is a bathtub. And a very big shower area. Wow. Look at the tiles. Is that not amazing? Wow. I'll take a picture of these tiles. Just in case in future I want to build my bathroom. And to eat. Whoa. This is crazy. Whoa. This is the pin then the room I didn't have coffee. And I didn't see a kettle for the water. Wow, I, I don't know. This this room is better than the other one, but I'm I'm grateful. No. Yeah. Anyway, let's create some space and go to the town. But it's beautiful. So, as a traveler on a budget, I normally don't use uh, Bolt, Uber, or whatever. Uh, but this one is very affordable. <laughs> it's called Yango. Yango is very affordable. It's even better than the taxi. So I was so surprised. Yeah. So this is the only place I use because. later.
Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Ain't look at me, man, what I become I've been running in the east Looking for sunset Digging deep since now Official introduction to Namibia. I'm running out of space, so this is going to be the shortest and sweetest video I've ever done. As a content creator, I think I started saying it when I was in Cape Town. I did a lot of videos. I don't know what to do with them. Even in Johannesburg, I still have videos. And I'm just like, now what? What will I do with these videos? Anyway, welcome to Vindok. <laughs> Are you crazy? I'm here. Like this is an amazing feeling. Dr. Sam Nujoma, Nujoma, founding president and father of the nation of Namibia. May God bless you for finding this amazing, beautiful country. <sighs> I am so excited. Some people are taking uh, pictures, so I guess I need to uh, go on the side. Wow! 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 Look at that. I mean, it's. And a, uh, the feeling of just being in Namibia. There's this famous Instagram celebrity here that I hope they allow recording here. Anyway, there's this famous uh, celebrity. She's called she's called uh, Maria Nepembe. Marianne? It's either Marianne Pembe or Maria Nepembe. I really don't know, but she's one of the celebrities. Instagram celebrities and movie as a actresses I know from Namibia so you know when you see her videos her pictures and now you're here the same thing happened to me when I was in Johannesburg I know a few celebrities not like celebrities but Instagram celebrities from from South Africa Johannesburg so when you arrive there you feel like oh my god like you know I've been seeing this on Instagram I've been seeing on movies and everything, but now you're here. It's totally different feeling. It's just an appreciation, you know. Anyway, welcome to Vindok, Namibia. This is the capital city of the country, Namibia. Namibia is one of the biggest countries in the world. Not in the world, but in Africa. Like with size. But its population is very small. There are only 2.5 million people here in Namibia. Of course, it's a desert. Uh, most of most of it is covered by the desert. The the big Kalahari Desert is in Namibia. That is the second largest desert in Africa after Sahara Desert. Yeah. So I'm just here. I just want to you know walk around, show you a little bit of this, and I hope you enjoy my videos. So if you're new here, kindly like, comment, and subscribe, please. Uh, subscribing commenting and liking is important for a channel yeah so I'm really grateful anyway right now I just started the channel the channel is just three months old but I'm also trying to build my Instagram because the best way to communicate with people is through Instagram so they can know your current place your current location but with YouTube if I say I'm in Namibia right now on YouTube community but then I'm posting videos from Zambia. It's just confusing my viewers. And I'm really sad that I might not be able to meet the people of Namibia, of Vindok. It's really crazy, but hopefully in the near future when I'm doing my second round, I will do that. Yeah. So I have little space remaining. <laughs> I just want to keep it for the beautiful sceneries of Vindok. Let's have a 
a toast full of lost old eyes And my crooked little heart How's the adventure so far? Uh, my first day actually mm. But compared to Cape Town, Cape Town I came from Cape Town okay. After one week, I think this People are calm. Oh, calm. okay. It's quiet. Oh, you like the yeah, environment? Like, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, friendly. okay. Friendly, people are friendly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to Vindok, Namibia. And uh, it's winter time, though it's winter, but it's Still. at the same time, the sun is out. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Like K A O S A O S. Yeah. That is thank you in. In uh, let me say no kwe go back. No kwe. No kwe. You know there's a tribe in Tanzania they speak like that. Yeah, they have clicks. I have, yeah. I, I read uh, I read about it. Yeah. That they have clicks, but we have four distinctive clicks in our language. Ah. Uh, so it goes as. Thank you. Yeah, so I have nine more minutes. Yeah, it's oh. linked here. Yeah. So I want to get inside the. I just want to see the whole of the city. So getting in here is free. That is crazy. Even though the museum is closed today, but still we can get a chance to see. Fourth floor. Do you want me to assist you there? Uh, no, it's all right. Yeah. That is the last floor? Nah, the, fifth the fifth floor one? is the last floor, but the fourth floor is the best view. Okay, alright. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and see Bingo. But the glasses are not the eye. I think I should turn to my camera so that you see everything. Okay, let's turn to the camera. Can you see that? Huh? Okay, the camera is better. Oh, this is a beautiful hotel in here. Hello, how are you? Great! Wow, look at that. That's the view of Vindok. There's a mountain, there's so many mountains here. And when I was coming from uh, Cape Town, South Africa is beautiful. Like, they have all these ranges. You know, beauty de also depends on what you consider beauty. <laughs> Infrastructure and of course the, the land the terrain so South Africa has a lot of this especially the routes to Namibia and most of it I missed because it was night time but I mean it was really nice then Namibia has some de some plain desert on the way then when you come to Vindok they have a lot of this terrain the hills it's really beautiful for me that is beauty like just how Tanzania is it's beautiful and there's this hotel uh, before I of course I do something here I want to then my favorite oil this one <laughs> olive oil before I sit and maybe have some lunch I just want to show you the view of Vindok what a beautiful city I saw somebody say it looks like Australia yeah I think that makes sense because Australia also is like a desert some some parts of it are like deserts you know wow let's see if i can go outside the other side okay oh oh <laughs> okay Ooh. 
you'll think it's it's hot but then at the same time there's cold air whoa, 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 whoa. that is the beautiful city of Vindok I don't know how the GoPro is taking it, but I think my phone takes it better. But this is the famous roundabout of Windhoek. What a beautiful city in the desert. Like it's surrounded by the hills. As you can see, the hills, the hills around, even on the other side, it's just absolutely crazy and amazing. I love I love Windhoek even though I was only given a day here two because I just took a transit um, I took a transit visa just to not to stay to overstay because in Cape Town I stayed for seven days and that seven days I could have stayed for two days and moved to Lesotho for two days and moved to Eswatini Eswatini okay let me just say Switzerland Swaziland for another two days then uh, you know moved it would have been a good idea but i think i was just tired mentally you know so i overstayed so the only thing that could make me pass namibia really quick was a transit visa so that i don't overstay because i know myself i'll just make decisions like this and just not follow them you know yeah so let's see the other side of the hill That is the egg bits. Let's see, there's a lot of olive oil here. My favorite oil. <laughs> I mean, it's just nice. Let's see the city from this other side. Then, uh, uh, I don't know if I should buy something or not. I don't know. Whoa, 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 what a beautiful city. I'm telling you, if you are on the ground, you don't see this. But now, if you're here, you see this. Whoa, 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 whoa. what an amazing city this is. Look at that. You see the hills? The hill is still, it's just like a city inside this circle of hills. <sighs> I'm so happy to be here. I'm so, 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 I wish, I don't know, like, you'll think it's a desert, you'll be like, oh, I don't want to go there because it's a there. It's so beautiful. But I'm told during the summer, it's windy, it's windy and uh, hot. Yeah, so, I think it's good and I think most people have cars here, so they don't have to mind so much about the heat. 70 percent i mean uh, 94 percent of namibians are blacks no no not blacks sorry uh 90 f there's a 80 something percent is uh black, then this percent is white then uh, the rest are mixed yeah it's uh, located along the central plateau of the kalahari desert in the east eh? and the population of namibia is 2.5 million you know they, they speak English, of course, they, they speak Afrikaans, they speak German and various indigenous languages, just like my country, Kenya. Uh, Namibian people are Christian mostly. Economically, Namibia is in a good place. Um, it is in a good place and there's minerals just like... There's minerals like uh, diamond, there's a lot of mining, there's gold, you know, in, in desert areas. I think they they should even get like uh, oil they should they should do some research on oil maybe they have it and i just didn't see it on my research here yeah so i'm so surprised also that they got independence in 1990 from south africa yeah and south africa if i say south africa south africa had other you know groups of people also under germany and uh, yeah so Namibia got independence in the 1990. That was not even a long time ago, you know, and they've done really well for their country. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, I was shocked that Namibia has the largest, one of the largest spaces in Africa, like one of the biggest countries in Africa with the least amount of population. Yeah, so with the remaining space, 
I'm just gonna take you on the ground, you know, just see the beautiful parts of the city. Ooh, my food is here. And of course, I just had to try the Bindok beer. It's called Premium Droughts. Of course, for ladies, for the guys, it's black and big. And the food is here. Mm, amazing. So I can't wait to try. I'm trying to create space. The sun is too much. It's cold and the sun is there, so it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> it is confusing the melanin honestly it's hot i can feel it burning but at the same time it's cold but look at that the food maybe i should just go back inside this is hot <laughs> That is nice, but the sun is just too much. It's weird that it's cold at the same time. This sun is just too much. It's too much for my melanin. I'm absorbing it so much. Plus, I have a black dress, so it's just too much. So, I guess we'll go inside. Oh, it's that phone is hot. So, I'll go and finish inside. Uh oh, that thing was dirty. But this thing is easy to wipe, so it's gonna be easy. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, it can be wiped really quick and it will work. <laughs> I did, I did. I was in a hurry because the sun is just too much. For yeah, me. it is too much. Yeah, so I guess I'll finish inside. <laughs> Say Karibu. 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 <laughs> it's like welcome. Oh. Yeah. So I was so shocked that I can use South African rands in Namibia. Yeah, but yeah. you cannot use Namibian dollars in South Africa. Ah, you can use Namibian dollars. But it's the same money. Yeah, it's the same money, but Namibian dollars cannot use it. Yeah, that is, that is unfair. <laughs> you know, but it's okay. okay. Yeah, but it saved me. I didn't have to go to the bank to change. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, welcome. All right. That's so big. Exit is on this side? Yeah, this or, side on this side. But let me see this side. It also has a view. Yes. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay. I just had to be quick because I need to go around the city. There's a there's an exit here. That was a good meal. It's crazy that you can use South African grants in Namibia, but you cannot use Namibian dollars in South Africa. They should talk about that because it's the same thing, it's the same amount actually. Welcome. Bye. Oh, traveling is crazy. I meant to be that. Oh my goodness, I have to go down. <laughs> It's not automatic, but look at that. Is that not beautiful? I 
feel like I need to go back up for the for the phone footage. Yeah, that is enough. That is enough. Yeah, oh it reminded me of uh, the cable whatever in South Africa table mountain. Statue. There's another statue here. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> will it be painful? Maybe I talk at a little. Okay, yeah, no problem. Like how much? Depends on you. Ah, okay. We can go. <laughs> so let's. This this was your first time. Yes, the founding father of Namibia. It was, it's amazing. It's amazing. Really, yeah. really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the, it's the like city is quite small, man. <laughs> it is. I think it's big. You think it's, it's big? Inside, uh, it's inside. Yeah, it's surrounded by the. It's a crater. Ah, it's a crater. Actually, so this was this, quite a million years ago. This was, this was a crater. Uh -huh. Volcanic activity that was happening. Uh -huh. My people, mm -hmm. they were the first uh, to be around these areas. They yeah. used to call this items. Ah, so that okay. means in our language it means fire water. Fire there's water. A, there's a, there's a hot water springs. Uh -huh. They build a uh, dam over it. Yeah. So that's where the name comes from. Ah, oh, amazing, amazing. So close to the municipality. Ah. Uh, that is nice. So this this monument you see here. Uh -huh. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry. Just say talk about it. First. Oh, okay. You wanna film me? <laughs> Okay, yeah, this monument you see here was erected in, in honor of the genocide that happened uh, uh, in the year 1904 to 1908. Uh -huh. uh, the Hererohi people yeah. were mostly affected, but there were also other groups. Oh. Yeah, they were affected by it. But mostly the Hererohi Ah, okay, alright. So it was erected in honor of it. Oh, yeah. and they go to this. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah. yeah. This monument is erected in honor of the, of the victims. victims. Herero and Nama. Herero and Nama. Genocide, Genocide in 1904 04. to 1908. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they were hanged. Yeah, hanged. This is basically the site where everything happened. That Here? that fort you see that this building. Yeah. This is the oldest building in winter. Oh, yeah. So this is the first standing building that the Germans built when they came. Oh. Yeah. So all these other uh, places, mm -hmm. they were built after. And every red roof that you see in Windhoek mm -hmm. is is basically German uh, built. Oh, German built. Yeah, yeah, German built. Any old building, not the new one. Uh, uh, okay. Depends now who's now having who's, who's taking over those places. Yeah. But all the red, red. Uh, red roofs. Oh, red roofs. Red right? roofs. Uh, Those were German built buildings. Uh, yeah. All the others you can say now they were maybe built by South African regime and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah. That is, that is sad. It's sad to see that. Yeah, yeah. So that is freedom. The the chain has been. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Namibia, we we have the oldest desert in the world. Uh, let's say it dates back until 155 million years if we can range it in that. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, obviously it's because of the the, the, the water currents mm -hmm. that uh, that affects the yeah. environment around here. The Indian Ocean yeah, and the, the Indian Ocean and then the Atlantic Ocean. 
because mm-hmm. it's two different densities. Mm-hmm. The other one is hot water, mm-hmm. and this one is cold water that we have on our coastline. Yeah. So the cold, the coldness from from the coastline, we have Benguela currents. Mm-hmm. Benguela currents is basically a breeze that comes from our ocean because of the heat that it absorbs, mm-hmm. and then it takes it under into the water. Yeah. As 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 as, uh, as the temperatures start to drop in the day, uh, the heat comes out of the water and it forms a sea breeze and comes into the inland. Yeah. So that's basically how also uh, it, it somehow brings nutrients into the water. Oh. That's why it's called the Peguela Current. Yeah. Oh, it's it's very, the, cl- the cloud is blue, like there's yeah, no, the sky is, <laughs> the sky is very blue. Yeah. yeah, and it's winter, so yeah, it's winter. I wonder how summers are, like I, I'm told it's very windy okay. here in summer. Uh, windy. Windy and dry. Okay, that's why it's called Ventuk. Mm-hmm. Ventuk uh, means a windy corner. Yeah. As a African uh, African term. Uh-huh. African term. Yeah. So yeah, it's basically got it from the Africans ruler Chanjongar Africana. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh. yeah. So that's but it's also it's windy all through year. It's windy it's all the windy. time. Like, but uh-huh. in winter it's very windy. Uh huh. Like so right now it's period. winter. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. feel but it's me- not the coldest mm-hmm. you can get. Mm-hmm. I feel like the coldest time in winter comes about in July. In July, next July. month. Eh? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay, all right. For me, you can survive here. I don't know about summer, but <laughs> yeah, for winter, yeah, yeah. I think I can survive. You get through, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Botswana was also like this, but it's very cold. It's Gaboron. Inland, yeah, because it's inland, I think. It's inland, yeah. yeah. Inland, it's more inland, and uh, I feel like they have more water supply compared to us ah where do do you get the water from uh okay look the the river uh the rivers that supply water inland mm-hmm. uh, we have one coming in from called is it the okavango mm-hmm. okavango river in the uh, northeastern part yeah that's where basically you find the victoria falls also oh okay all right yeah so it's not you're not gonna find the best view of the victoria falls mm-hmm. here but I think it's more into Zimbabwe and Zambia. Zambia, yeah. 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 But that water, that, that border that's there, mm-hmm. that basically, that, that also has the neighboring countries, mm-hmm. it's basically, uh, there's a, this, this, that's the best, like, or let's say that's where we have the biggest water supply inland. Uh-huh. Yeah. And oh. then from there we have the ocean on the coast. Yeah, and ocean on the coast. Salty. So salty, yeah. I was taking a shower today and I was like, let me not waste a lot of water because this is a ah, desert. No, 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 no. It's not like we have water shortages mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, also the population is less. Is less yeah. So we don't really have, uh, you know, how should I say, like South Africa, what is it? Uh, they have this electricity having to go out. We don't have that. Yeah. Very rare. It's very rare. Very rare. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it happens, it's once in a few years. Uh, no, we don't have water crises uh, that much. No. That's the best thing with less population. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, absolutely, yeah. We pump it out of it. Ah, yeah. all right. Thank you for that. They for sure have, cause I feel dry in my house already. <laughs> already. You know? and many people have cars. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they. So, it's a hundred few, just a hundred years. Not really that. Long. Where do I hit here on top? Is it working? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I have an idea of it. Hey, there you guys go. <laughs> From where? You say from where? From Nairobi. Yeah. Namibia. Yeah. Where's your village? Village from north. Not here. From north north. Yeah, they're from the north. Here. Like this, like this. One thing, all three out. One finger in. The index in. Yeah. 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 There you go. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Thank you for that. Yeah.